The Beat, Texas A&M Athletics, is brought to you by ASCO, your place for case construction equipment in Texas. We welcome you back into 12th Man Studios in the south end zone of Kyle Field. You just saw it a moment ago, Texas A&M women's swimming and diving wins their third Southeastern Conference crown in a row. And now we have their head coach, Steve Boltman, with us. And let's just start with a bit of congratulations. You've done it again, third Thanks. year in a row. Thanks. A lot of fun, and especially being at home. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that in just a second. Right. But what led you to this one? Where were the key points? What allowed you to pull away from the competition? Just, I mean, it, you're allowed a certain number of swimmers and divers to compete in the meet. Uh, they're allowed to swim and dive three events. Uh, it's important that you score as many points as you can from each swimmer. And, you know, almost all of our swimmers and divers, every time they competed, they at least got back in finals and scored again. So our depth is really good. Mm -hmm. And you touched on it. Just what did it mean to hoist a trophy with your team in front of Aggies right here in College uh, Station? That's, that's awesome. I mean, we... We love our pool. It's a fast pool, and and we know we're gonna, you know, swim fast there. So I think that led leads to confidence, knowing that they're gonna do well. And and SEC is such a strong conference in that championship, and to to win it for the third year in a row is pretty special. And uh, I, mean, I guess we won eight titles, you know, with I guess seven individual and a and a relay title in the meet. So, but. But our depth is is definitely a big key part of it. Yeah, and I love the tradition when it's all <clears> over when you win. The head coach takes the dip <laughs> in the pool. I imagine the water feels pretty good after it, that. <laughs> it, it's it's not too bad. Although the, the the girls like the belly flops, and the belly flops when you first land, you feel it a little <laughs> bit. But it's uh, it, it's a joyous thing, that's for sure. No doubt about it. And. Last year, you came on after a great finish of the season, and we asked you about all that it took to get the program to where it is. Well, maybe I'll reverse it and look in the other direction this time. Where do you go from here? We, we know about the top four finishes in the NCAAs, and they're coming up. Three straight SEC crowns now. In your mind, what's next for the program? Just, just keeping it consistent and, um, you know, recruiting is really important. And obviously, you know, I think having it live on SEC TV last night is, is going to help us. Uh, you know, the, the fact that we're going to get new locker rooms and some additions over at the pool, um, we just want to continue doing what we're doing and, and, and help girls reach their goals. Mm -hmm. But I guess it is hard not to think about how far you've come. Each oh, yeah. crown you win. For sure, for <laughs> yeah. sure, yeah. No doubt. Well, we thank you for the time. NCAAs are out there, too. Another SEC crown for Texas A&M Women Swimming and Diving. Congratulations on it. Thank you very much.